labor laws that protect the American worker. In this video, we'll be covering six acts of Congress that you should be specifically aware of now that you are transitioning back to civilian employment. Each act defines a set of laws or regulations that employers must follow when dealing with veterans and service members in the civilian workplace. As some veterans may encounter specific types of discrimination or bias, it's important to be aware of the protections you have as you seek employment. We'll provide a brief overview of each act, explain what area of employment that they may apply to, and point you to resources to get more information on these acts. These resources are also listed in your participant guide, so let's get started and count them down. Number 1. USERA the Uniformed Services Employment and Reemployment Rights Act. USERA provides several basic protections for your civilian job rights and benefits. USERA stipulates that employers cannot discriminate against you on the basis of your past military service, your current military obligations, or your intent to serve. USERA does not mean that employers have to hire veterans, just that they cannot use your military service against you as you apply for a job with them. USERA also requires employers to make reasonable efforts to accommodate disabilities you may have due to your military service. USERA covers Guard or Reserve members as they have a right to return to their pre-service civilian job whether they serve for five months or five years. The law is intended to minimize the disruptions in benefits and advancement for you when you're called to active duty or training. In this case, there are specific time limitations and requirements for the service member, so be sure and understand your responsibilities under USERA. The regional offices of the Department of Labor Veterans Employment and Training Service can assist you with USERA services. Number 2. ADA the Americans with Disabilities Act. Title I of the American with Disabilities Act ensures that anyone with a disability is not discriminated against when it comes to employment. It also ensures people with disabilities are afforded the same rights and opportunities as everyone else. Approximately 25% of all veterans have a disability rating with the VA, and while many, or most, may not consider themselves disabled, it is helpful to understand your rights under ADA in case it is needed in the future. The ADA is the law that requires employers to provide reasonable accommodations to qualified individuals with disabilities. We recommend you take the time to confirm your disability is covered by the ADA and learn what types of accommodations are available. Number 3. EEO – The Equal Employment Opportunity Act EEO protects job applicants and employees against discrimination as they apply and work for most private employers, state and local governments, educational institutions, and labor organizations. Simply put, the idea is that everyone should be treated fairly when they are considered for employment decisions such as hiring, promotion, compensation, or termination, and you have the same chance or equal opportunity with that employer. There are several laws included in EEO stating that employers will not discriminate on the basis of race, color, national origin, ethnicity, religion, age, gender, sex, including pregnancy, disability, or genetic information. EEO also protects you against harassment or denial of reasonable workplace accommodations and retaliation. It also provides protection and a system to file and process an EEO complaint if you experience any form of discrimination. Number 4. VEVRA The Vietnam Era Veterans Readjustment Assistance Act of 1974 VEVRA applies to federal contracts and subcontracts of $150,000 or more. Companies with these contracts are prohibited from discriminating based on an individual's status as a protected veteran and all employment practices. Protected veterans under VEVRA fall into one of the following categories, the disabled veteran, recently separated veteran, active duty wartime or campaign badge veteran, or an armed forces service medal veteran. These companies must also take affirmative action to employ and advance protected veterans such as listing jobs, conducting outreach, and recruiting protected veterans. However, VEVRA does not require preferential hiring for protected veterans. Number 5. FLSA – The Fair Labor Standards Act FLSA establishes federal minimum wage, defines the work week, and sets standards for overtime pay. It also places restrictions on child labor and provides guidance for record keeping of employees' time. More than 143 million workers are covered by the FLSA, including most full-time and part-time employees in the private sector and anyone who works for government agencies. Independent contractors, sometimes referred to as 1099 workers, are not covered by FLSA. Another important part of FLSA is the Equal Pay Act. This law mandates that workers in the same workplace doing substantially equal jobs must be given equal pay. This part of FLSA is enforced by the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, also known as EEOC. Number 6. FMLA, the Family and Medical Leave Act. 
FMLA provides eligible employees with the ability to take unpaid, job-protected leave for family and medical reasons. As an eligible employee, you maintain health benefits and are entitled to return to your job or an equivalent position at the end of your leave. The law helps you balance the demands of work and family life. There are also military family provisions added to the FMLA in 2008. These provide leave to eligible employees who are military caregivers of a serviceman. The law allows 26 work weeks of leave during a single 12-month period children, parents, or next of kin to care for a covered service member with a serious injury or illness. Be aware, there are some criteria that you must meet to be eligible for FMLA leave, such as length of employment. So that's it, six laws in six minutes. There's a lot more to these laws than we covered here in this video, so we recommend that you keep your participant guide in your reference library to help you if, in the future, you need to dig deeper or brush up on these protections later. The resource guide also contains links to good sources of information on these laws and is worth bookmarking in your favorite browser. These resources will simplify your research efforts if you are experiencing any of the situations these laws cover. Best of luck in your transition and thank you for your service.